Okay, my name is uh, Clement Tulezi. I'm the CEO of Kenya Flower Council. Um, my name is Elizabeth Kimani. I'm the head of quality and compliance for CN Flowers Group of Companies. The EU remains our major market uh, for horticultural products. Uh, if you look at our cut flowers, uh, for example, 70% uh, of our cut flowers we actually export to the EU. If you look at the veg, uh, it's also close to that, and also fruit. So the EU remains the major market for Kenya uh, horticulture products. Cut flowers really growing in Kenya, we've been able to place ourselves up there in the global market share. So Kenya um, is actually probably now almost number four as one of the biggest producers of cut flowers worldwide. We produce 160 million stems of cut flowers. By the end of this year, we should be close to 200 million stems of cut flowers. Our main market is in the EU. 60% of what we produce gets uh, is sold into the EU. We have aligned ourselves to the national strategy on promotion and development of, uh, of our exports. And with that, we have identified about eight or nine countries where we want to engage and uh, be able to push our exports and volumes up. We look at the customer preference, what is liked by uh, the customers in terms of rating. And we only go for the best, uh, that is high uh, quality crops. We have made a, a lot of strides when we look at uh, our trade with Europe. But we also know that we have a lot of challenges that have to do with the quality and standards, have to do with compliance with certain regulations, uh, that have to do with the pests and how we control those pests, have to do with the image uh, in those countries, have to do with logistics um, around where we export and how our products are received and uh, how they are transmitted through the uh, supply chain until they get to the customer. We take a lot of pride in the quality of the product that we send to the market and we have very comprehensive quality control programs all the way from production to the pack house and to the point of exit. Growing is a process and uh, growing starts from a selection of varieties. Uh, you pick varieties and then after propagation you grow uh, and while growing you monitor several aspects. You look at productivity, uh, that is production per square meter. Uh, the quality of uh, the flower in terms of uh, foliage, stem, uh, transportability, uh, and generally vase life. Uh, once you've made um, uh, the right choice, you now go grow commercially. Once you receive the product at intake, we do quality checks against the standards, uh, which is the right maturity, the cut stage, the length, uh, pest, we check, also check for pests and diseases. Anything that is not according to the market spec, we quarantine the product and we also reject what does not conform. Anything that meets the right quality is moved to the next stage, which is the cold room, where we do the uh, cooling, removal of heat. We work closely with the regulatory bodies like KEFIS and the self-regulatory others like uh, Kenya Flower Council where we have programs that ensure that what we send to the market is compliant with the phytosanitary measures as expected by the market. Majorly those are the issues that are on the card. But our biggest challenge is to do with pests called MRLs or interceptions on minimum uh, residue levels in the market. Uh, but it also has to do with the, the ever-changing regulations in the market because the market is ever-changing, it's bringing in new regulations uh, on issues to do with the environment and use of pesticides and uh, looking at quality. These are things that we have to surmount. So we take the liberty to educate our exporters to be able to conform with this very, very quickly. You are supposed to scout, monitor and uh, identify anything that might affect the quality of, of, of the flowers. If you not maybe uh, a pest coming in, you need to step in immediately you control before it, it goes beyond uh, the threshold level. And as such, we've trained our employees. We have uh, a team who does the scouting. Uh, they scout uh, the entire field and uh, come up with uh, a program 
of ensuring that the crop has minimal pests and diseases. But we're also finding that we have uh, challenges to do with uh, tariffs. Some of those countries, we still have tariffs that make us not competitive. If we compare ourselves to competitors, you know, other countries that are exporting uh, the same products into those markets. So bilateral discussion between the government of Kenya and uh, uh, governments within those major markets becomes very important for us. And we have other trade barriers related to logistics, you know, flying direct into those markets, uh, landing uh, rights and uh, slots in some of those airports. Those are things that we need to uh, surmount. We're a sector that employs over 350,000 people directly, those who are working within the farms. And we know that over 3 million actually uh, support us in terms of providing other auxiliary services and goods. We are bringing in uh, the knowledge of efficiency in a lot of processes that we undertake. We take a lot of pride in our employees and they are our most important resource. So we have programs for them to make sure that they enjoy their working while they are with Cian flowers. We have bursary programs, we have feeding programs. Um, we want to make sure that their children can access quality education. We provide for them subsidized goods and we also run nutritional gardens so that they can access uh, a balanced diet. We also have a lot of emphasis on the environment where we grow our flowers. So we have different programs that help us to make sure that we not only get profits out of our growing, but we also take care of the environment for our sake and for the sake of future generations. So we have uh, a lot of sustainability programs and we are aiming at uh, approaching or achieving zero carbon in our operations. We are looking at uh, questions of how we push up you know, the volumes in, in countries like France, for example. We are going to have engagement in France. We have uh, one of the major markets there, uh, the Rungis market, where we're going to have discussions with the buyers and the political players within uh, that, that market. So, so it's an interesting, interesting um, uh, affair. But we're also wrapping up in, in all those countries. We have our um, foreign missions supporting what we are doing and a lot of work that will remain behind we should be able to continue uh, on behalf of Kenya negotiating with those uh, uh, countries and uh, relevant people. So it is not just us who will be on the delegation but also our foreign missions, the Kenyan foreign missions within those countries to be wrapped in this discussion with a good understanding and we believe that uh, that partnership uh, should be able to carry us forward. We believe that today's diplomacy is not political, it's much more economic than political and therefore having our foreign missions included in these discussions uh, for the sake of uh, pushing trade between Kenya and this country, countries become very, very critical. So we have, uh, we have good contact uh, there with our missions and they will be part of what is, will be happening on the ground.